Uh, so congratulations. The buzz around the movie is also obviously huge. Now, this casting is basically like a fantasy league of casting. Like, I feel like you've chosen people that I love from different times of my life. So how did you go about putting this uh, dream team together? It, it was a bit just, you know, guts, gut instincts of following people I really uh, gravitate towards. And um, I... I, with, with Pamela, you know, seeing her documentary, it was a no-brainer that she had to be our Shelly. And with Dave, I um, had gotten to meet him briefly once, and he expressed his desire for dramatic acting. And I was like, by any chance, would you be willing to kind of be in our, our little movie? And, and he was gung-ho. And I think so many people, have, um, I got lucky that they just really responded to the material. Um, and... Uh, you know, it was a long shot with Jamie. I really didn't think I had a had a chance, but uh, she surprised us all in that she's um, just such a team player and gets down and dirty and just not what you think being an Oscar winner at all. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, this movie is about uh, a woman that's at a crossroads. She has to maybe reinvent herself. So if you were going to reinvent yourself and do something completely different, what would you do? Now? Yeah, now. I would volunteer at a hospital. That's really nice. And you posted some gorgeous selfies earlier celebrating the day with the song Total Eclipse of the Heart. So what was the significance of that song? So it's too long of a story, but I play a show, uh, an ex-showgirl who's now a... Uh, what they call a bevertainer, which is somebody who dances and serves drinks. And we didn't know about that job when we first started the movie. I thought I was just a cocktail waitress. And so we, I was joking with Gia that I said, well, you know, if you had known that, you would have had me dance in the movie. And she said, oh, we're going to have you dance in the movie. And I was like, no, no, you're not. No, I'm not, because I wasn't supposed to. And then as we were walking into the rehearsal, Total Eclipse of the Heart was playing, and I said to Gia, I said, you know, Annette would dance to that song if she was a, that's how it happened. I said, you know, Annette would dance to that song if she was a bevertainer. And then she said to me, oh, you're gonna dance in the movie. And I was like, no, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not. And she said, oh yeah, you are. And so they, that's the song I danced to. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You know, I've searched really hard and fought really hard to have, you know, kind of deep, meaningful roles. I didn't always want to be just, uh, you know, like an action guy or a guy that was predictable as far as performing. I really love the craft of acting. Uh, so I, you know, I search for roles like this. This role in particular is, uh, I think, seven, eight-year journey. I met Gia years and years ago when I told my agent I want to do, I want to be an actor. I want to work for it. You know, directors who do meaningful, meaningful things. I like, I love independent films, and so he started sending me out on generals. And Gia was a director that I sat and talked with and hit it off with. And she said she believed in me. She wanted to find work for me, and so we stayed in touch for years and years until this script came about. And she called me and said, "I really love you to play this role. Take a look at it." And I said, "Without a doubt." I and I, I didn't know who the cast was at the time, but I read the script. And I, I loved it. I loved the role of Eddie, and I uh, wanted to work with Gia. And then the rest fell into place. I was like, man, how lucky am I? Yeah.